So tell me about how Waymo got started and when it started to move into self-driving trucks. Absolutely. Um, so Waymo is a self-driving technology company. Our mission is to make it safe and easy to, for both people and things to move around. Um, so Waymo overall got started uh, back in 2009 as the Google self-driving car project uh, because we saw huge potential to make our roads safer and save lives. Uh, we've been testing our trucks from 2017. Um, we currently are uh, testing them in Arizona. We also test in California and have tested in Georgia as well uh, across a variety of different conditions and locations and we continue to grow the routes that we are testing in. So tell us about the sensors we have on this truck. Yeah, our truck uses a combination of cameras, uh, radars and lidars and we also have our computer uh, in there. So let's start with the dome uh, right there in the center at the top of the truck. So that houses our vision modules, which is a variety of different cameras. Um, so these are contain regular cameras. These also contain high resolution cameras that can see much further out. Uh, we also have uh, cameras that are much better at seeing at night and have high dynamic range in order to see things like traffic light color, things like signs, people close by, far away, etc. cetera. Uh, the second type of sensor we have is a LiDAR. LiDARs see the world in three dimensions using uh, light pulses. Um, so what they're really great at is detecting how far an object is, what is the depth of that object, and they also function really well irrespective of whether it's day or night um, because they're using their own light source. So the great thing about them is they can distinguish between what's, let's say, a cutout of a pedestrian from an actual pedestrian, given the 3D shape of an actual human being. So we've deployed our LiDARs in various different places uh, within the truck. So there are LiDARs up on the dome at the top. You can also see a LiDAR uh, that's spinning there. This is our short range LiDAR. Uh, we also have some mid range and long range LiDAR. So you can see another LiDAR housed on top of this side mirror that allows us to see all the way along the sides of the truck. So we've also got radars, and uh, so radars use radio waves in order to uh, detect and track objects around them. What's great about radars is they can see really far away and detect velocity of objects very uh, accurately, uh, and they also perform really well under um, adverse weather conditions. So you're getting all this different information from these different sensors. Tell me a little, I know this is a big question, but tell me about how you stitch all this information together to give the computer uh, a 100% vision of what's going on around the truck at any given time. Yeah, that's a great question. So, um, so we start with um, having all the sensors placed and collecting data from those sensors. After that, the kinds of decisions that our uh, computer is trying to make fall into sort of four buckets. Um, so first is, where am I in this world? So we have high definition maps of the world. Our sensors detect what's around the vehicle at that point in time. By comparing to our maps and through other techniques, we can know very precisely where the vehicle is located in the world. Then the second question is what's around the vehicle. So we detect um, cars, we detect pedestrians, basically any dynamic object uh, that's around the vehicle through a combination of our sensors, uh, as well as applying advanced software capabilities, including state-of-the-art machine learning, we're able to understand what are all the different objects around the vehicle and what are they doing? Are they moving at a certain speed? Are they just stopped? Uh, third, then we make a decision about, okay, what are these road agents going to do next? So what is that vehicle that's right beside us going to do next? And we do that for all the objects around. Um, and after we've done that, then we make a decision, okay, here's how the truck should drive safely and make progress. Through a combination of all of our sensors, we can see up to three football fields away. So last question for you. Tell me about how incorporating all that information into the truck's decision making is different than it is for a car. Like for trucks, you know, the turning radii are different, it takes longer to brake. Tell me about how incorporating all that information uh, is different for the truck. As I pointed out earlier, the blind spots on a truck are quite different, so we change how we position and use sensors in order to account for that. Uh, the motion control and the dynamics of the vehicle are different. They, they, take long, they, they have a different braking profile. They are slower to accelerate. So when we develop our algorithms, we do a lot of testing in closed course to really deeply understand how we should um, uh, brake and steer and accelerate the vehicle to make sure that it's following the right path and speed that we intended to follow for safe operation of the vehicle.